In the face of the Ebola threat, there are people in our area doing whatever they can to help victims overseas. TV 1055 Steve Langford has the story of a group of humanitarians lending a helping hand. More than 4,000 miles from West Africa, but less than 20 from Bellevue Hospital, a warehouse in Yonkers jammed with volunteers. We have almost 250 pallets of donated inventory that we're going to be getting in the air to Sierra Leone in the next 10 days. Medical supplies donated, sorted, and packed to be rushed straight to the heart of the Ebola crisis. If I can give something or do something that might be able to help somebody, even if they're not in my country, it'll maybe help us all out a little bit. 200 volunteers of all ages giving part of their Sunday for a cause that has gone global. I think now the reality is pretty obvious that this disease does not have any borders and we need to take as many precautions as we can, but the biggest thing we can do right now is prevention. Non-permeable rain gear, rubber gloves, masks, goggles, and shoe covers. The list of urgently requested items coming directly from the government of Sierra Leone, according to AFIA, a Yonkers organization named after the Swahili word for health. This is a place where no matter how small the work is you're doing, you're actually doing something. Like simple stuff like this helps a lot, like impacts a lot. I don't think we like understand that. An urge also to be defined by compassion, not fear. I think this warehouse is filled with angels. They are the world. In Yonkers, Steve Lankford, TV 1055. The group is getting most of its donations from corporations and hospital groups.